I am in Columbus, Ohio. I'm down at German Village with Sarah. We're just walking around. Tomorrow is her due date. Baby, oh there she is. Baby is due tomorrow. Maybe he'll make his appearance. We hope so. I'm here at the Red Stable. It's a gift shop. Super cute. I'll show you some of the stuff they have inside. And then right next door is Schmidt's Sausage House and Restaurant. I have eaten here with Sarah last time I was here and that's a fun German restaurant to eat at. This little red barn was built in 1872 and used as a horse livery. Over the years it was also used as a wagon repair shop, an ice storage, and a service garage. And then in the 1950s it was turned into the Red Stable gift shop and it features over a hundred local artists and vendors. I will put the link to their website in the description box below so you can read more about their history and look at all of the things that they offer and you can even place an order online and they will ship to you. They have a huge assortment of different nutcrackers. There are all kinds, so many unique ones, so fun to look at. And now we are headed across the street over to Schmidt's Fudge House. Mm, smells good in here. <laughs> Happy hippo. Oh, it's a two minute walk to the other one. Oh, well, then we must be close by. Oh, those night lights are cute. They're wooden. Oh, yeah. Well, you can even see what they look like. Aw, cute. They're so cute. Aw, look at the little nativity. Aw, cute. Those are cute. So cute. I love the little advent calendars up there. Those are cool. Those are cool. And they're only $37.99. That's a good price. Oh, yes please. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> it's got to be chocolate and Where's peanut butter. Cup? Where's the... Mm. For it. Oh, right here. No, that... Dark, oh, peanut oh, butter dark cups. and... Yeah, these are Probably, dark yeah, dark ones. chocolate and... Oh, peanut butter cups. Mm. Gorgeous candies. M&M or Reese's Pieces pretzel rod. Ooh. Caramel chocolate pretzel rod. Oh, yum. Best fudge in America. Number four. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking I just need some pure, unadulterated chocolate fudge. Mm -hmm.
how pretty the painting on the windows is. So pretty. And the streets in German Village are all brick or cobblestone. And just a two minute walk away is another gift shop called Helen Winnemore's. And so we're gonna check this out. <laughs> Very nice. Oh. Hello, it's the store mascot. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Hello. <laughs> In the shop, they focus on American made crafts. They have a really big variety of different kinds of things. This iguana is a puzzle. That is so cool. Yeah, I think so. Soulmate socks. Kids pair with a spare. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> Three socks. Mm -hmm. So you have a spare. Look at these colors. Oh, those something. are pretty. There's also an owl puzzle. Just look how many pieces there are to these nativity sets. These are amazing and they told us they are all hand carved and hand painted. This is a lot of wagging pets. Pretty uh, stained glass window. Santa's milk and cookies. So we've been in a few shops, decided we're hungry, so we're gonna go check out a Mohawk restaurant right there behind me and see, uh, see how that is. So let's go, we're hungry. So this actually opened as Elk's Tavern in 1933 after Prohibition ended and it was rumored that the owner raised turtles in the basement to use for the popular turtle soup, which they still have on the menu today. When the owner, Miles Elk, passed away in 1947, his family continued their business under the name of Mohawk Grill. So as you can see, they have appetizers, soups, yep, there's the Mohawk turtle soup, salads, quesadillas, they also have sandwiches and burgers and wraps, and all the prices seem pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I got the buffalo chicken sandwich. Sarah got a mushroom Swiss burger and we split them. So I got mine with fries. She got hers with onion rings. All right, we are done at the Mohawk. What did you think of our dinner? Very good. Yes, it was awesome. We're back home now at Sarah and Luke's house. Sarah and I had a nice time just wandering around German Village, 
We enjoyed the gift shops and had a really great dinner at Mohawk and now we're just going to relax. So if you enjoyed coming along with us, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.